Okay, we're back. Um, St. Francis just about to take the field. Uh, the umpire is still meeting at home plate. We've got a little bit of time here before uh, the game gets started. Anybody got anything? Our umpire is today, <laughs> Bob Posey behind the plate. All right, Bob Posey behind the, the plate. Campbell at first and Brian Glassingame at third. Brian Glassingame, the third base umpire. Thank you, David Sorio, for adding to our telecast as we await the Lancers to take the field. Once again, they'll be bringing out their pitcher, Joey Schott, will be on the mound. The Lancers are 4 0 on the season. De La Salle is 1 0. This will be their De La Salle's second game of the year. And in as many days as well, they just played last night at home against Granada. short, done at second. Baker at first. Galindo catching and on the mound, Joey. Shot. Schedule bat for De La Salle, Bianchina, China, I'm sorry, uh, Harrison, and Santiago. Starting to feel old. Second baseman. I can't hear myself now. What happened? What? Okay, that's better. Now I can hear myself. Sorry about that, folks. We came up early, and uh, the Lancers continue to warm up. But I was feeling old. It's Cole Dunn, the second baseman for St. Francis. I coached his father when I was coaching here with Dave Osorio on the freshman team. So you always get old when somebody's a kid that you coach. Kid you coach has a kid that's on a team now playing in high school. Hopefully his father was good. His father was good. That's his father was a power-hitting uh, infielder, would play either corner, could play third. Or first. So Vince Blanchino will stand in for the Spartans. Leading here off, shortstop, get number us started. two, Vince Blanchino. I would love to tell you the cloud formation, Paulie, but it's all cloud. It's all cloud. It gets every cloud imaginable, every I think, up there. Yep. And apparently for the last several weeks, you guys have seen every cloud available. Oh, unbelievable. I've been in seventh then. <laughs> First pitch fouled up into the screen. Well, a week ago, uh, down in Las Vegas, we had snow. So I saw the pitch. I, I sent you pictures. I, I've got a video of it, too. It was uh, surreal. The snow, rain. I don't know which one would be better to deal with right now. Probably the rain. <laughs> They're yeah. dealing with right now. Lifted into left field, popped up. Getting underneath it is Michael Leahy, and he is there to make the catch. Four out, number one, so one up, one down. Four shot. Coming to the plate, first base for number 35, Kyle Harrison. So one out, Kyle Harrison, the first baseman for De La Salle will step in. Joey shot working out of the windup. Off speed pitch, drops in there for a strike, 0 and 1, nice little breaking ball. Yeah, and this one's popped up down the left field line towards the bullpen. Might be room, and it falls in fair. And rounding first, holding it first is Kyle Harrison. That hung up there for a long time. Looked like it was going to go foul, but ended up dropping Coming just play, inside the base, foul line three, for a Chris single. Santiago. You know, I think it might be, you know, with the, the rain and the wind kicking up, too. That's going to just be playing havoc on anything hitting the air. You're guessing. Yeah, the wind's going left to right but if you look at the flag. So that did probably blow back in just a touch. Chris Santiago, the third baseman, is the batter. From the stretch, ground ball towards second. Up with it is done. He over the first in time to turn the double play. Nicely turned there. Done to Ibarra to Baker. To retire the side, that'll do it for De La Salle in the top of the first. It is De La Salle zero, and the Lancers coming to bat. The Lancers will be Halpin, Galindo, and Batting Porter. order for St. Francis, Pete Halpin, the center fielder, will lead off. Izzy Galindo 
Catcher will bat second. Max Porter, right fielder, will bat third. Uh, the designated hitter, Martin Sanchez, will bat fourth. During, uh, Jeter Obara, the shortstop, will bat the fifth. By is Michael working. Leahy, so the left fielder, we'll will bat sixth. Kevin Kamak, third baseman, will bat seventh. Score. Ryan Baker, first baseman, will bat eighth. And Cole Dunn, the second baseman, will bat ninth. Defensively for De La Salle, Mail -Mail. Over in left field, we got Keone Coma in left. Center field, Jordan right over and right. You got Blake Burke. Around the infield at first base, Kyle Harrison. Second base, Nick Fusari. Over on shortstop, Vince Biacchina. And Leading off center fielder, base, number 14, Katie Halpern. Cole Silva. And behind the plate, it's at uh, Bexy Parker. Okay. So that was a, a six. I'll give you that a nine. Ben, ben not, Parker. Not bad. Ben it's, Parker. It, it's, it's Ben Parker. Ben yeah. Parker. Yeah. It's Vince well, it Blanchina. Comes, Vince Blanchina is the shortstop. That's a tough one. Chris and Chris Santiago at third. Other than that, he did pretty good. Halpin uh, has a one and zero count now as Cole Silva's on the hill. Ground ball towards the hole is short, and that's through with the left field for a base hit. So a nice piece of hitting there by Halpin to go with the pitch, drove it right in the hole between third and short, and has himself a leadoff single. Coming to the plate, catcher number two, Harrison, Izzy Galindo. Third, uh, both, both committed to UCLA, both the same class, so wow. they might be a couple of guys to watch for the Absolutely. next couple of years. Absolutely. UCLA, that's neat. Mm -hmm. Catcher Izzy Galindo, the batter. Scores the bunt, lays it down, nice right. punt. The only play they have is at first base, sort of first is in time. So the sacrifice completed by Galindo on the sack bunt, the two to three. Excuse me, one to three. And the batter will be the right fielder, Max Porter. Now batting right fielder, number eight, Max Porter. One out runner at second. I don't know if we'll have some time oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, then. Pitch comes in high, ball one. Well, that's so very, even though he is committed to D3 U Chicago, you can definitely tell he's got, he's got that pitcher mentality, I can already tell from here. Very focused, not letting anything get to him easily. A speed pitch, nice stop by Ben Parker behind the plate. Two and another count. 83, 82, 83. Falling behind in the count. Porter's going to get one in here. Nice hitter's count. See if they put anything on. Three and out. I'll just put a big fat take sign on right now. Three, that's almost an automatic. Yeah, but you got your number three hitter up, so might give him a little bit of you know, one pitch, one location. Well, you do have Sanchez you know, on your DH coming up next, so four hitter, couple guys on, you might want to leave him on for that. See what he does here. Pitch right down the heart of the plate for a strike. Three and one to count. Confusion on the side between pitcher catchers. They'll reset, go through it again. Pitch in the dirt, ball four. Want to hold the second wisely. And a nice block again by Ben Parker. So a one-out walk issue puts runners at first and second and brings up the Lancer. Coming to the plate, the designated Martin hitter, Sanchez. number 21, Martin Sanchez. Rain is starting to lessen here. And a trip to the mound by Coach David Jeans. 
You know, David Jeans took over in 2012, and he's done an excellent job. I mean, I think he's mostly let De La Salle just mostly be the name, but he's got an excellent group and another, I mean, you can't really top last year, second in California, right behind Valley Christian, according to Max Preps. And I'm starting to actually kind of wonder if that was a little, that was a little harsh being only number two. <laughs> I mean, I know Valley Christian was good because I know guys that go to Bellarmine and St. Francis and Midian. I've talked to them, and they said Christian's good, but you almost kind of wonder if it's because they have the South in Concord and not the South Bay that they were only only number two. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, good point. So Martin Sanchez at the plate. Pitch on the outside corner for a strike, 0-1. You know, we've seen a lot of that curveball early today, and he's been flipping that over a pretty good job. Got to get ahead of some of these uh, hitters for the Lancers. Don't want to get behind in the count and be okay. forced to bring one in. Definitely not. I mean, the only guy I'm surprised had this, he's on the line today is, you know, Picola. Pickoff attempt at second, nothing doing. And Picola, last time we filmed, filmed here, they faced uh, Cal San Ramon. He had a 430 foot tape oh, shot geez. off of the. Uh, Riding cage all the way in the back. <laughs> Joshua Pacola? Yeah, the Stanford commit for football. Oh. Jeez, he lied. Man. These guys are committed in their own senior year. Yeah. Well, most commit for baseball by junior yeah. football and senior year, though, you typically. Third ball drops in there for a strike. Oh, and two to count. So suddenly, Chris Silva seems to have found good control with the breaking pitch. And he's ahead 0-2 to Sanchez. Those are just two excellent curveballs dropping there right off the table. That's exactly how you drop a curveball. Ground ball towards second base on the backhand. Flip to second for one on the way to first. Double play. Right. So a four to six to three to end the inning for the Lancers, much like it happened when the Lancers were on defense. That will do it for St. Francis in the bottom of the first. We played one. There's no score. Big guy. Top of the second inning. Blake Burke leading off the right fielder. He'll be followed by Charles McAdoo. He's a sophomore. Big kid for a sophomore. Big guy, 6'3". Have you seen him stats? Yeah. Actually, he had a, talking to some of the DLS uh, players before the game, apparently hit a grand slam against Granada yesterday. Wow. You know, Burke, I just, Burke I just, did? Yeah, wow. I saw him. I just walked by and eyeballed him. I was like, yeah, he's like 6'2", 6'3", like 220. And they're like, 210, but I'm <laughs> yeah. eyeballing and just going, he's big. <laughs> One on one, the count to Burke. And this is a good field for him too. Really short porch out to the mm -hmm. to right. Room to grow. Just low. Two and one, the count. Swinging and miss. Don't like two that one. That one up there about letter high that he drooled on. Two and two, the count to Burke. Set him up a little bit or something. A little slower and a little lower. Breaking ball takes it right back up the middle for a base hit. Nice piece of hitting there by Burke. Nice looking sophomore there. I wonder if he plays football too. I would, I would imagine he must. Got it, yeah. What a man. Bring up the designated hitter, Charles McAdoo. Now batting the designated hitter, number 21. He's a junior. Charles McAdoo. Pals, that one straight up into the screen. This is a uh, hitter-friendly field with a screen that comes out over the top of home plate and not a lot of foul territory here at Chris Bradford Stadium, so. Pitchers have to be careful because it, they're not going to get a lot of help from the from the field itself. It gets off, ticks off the glove of Galindo, and on his way to second base is Burke on the pass ball. 
You know, it is. I'll give you the hitter friendly because of that and the no foul ground, but the wind is the one thing that just they're kills they're it because it's, it almost acts like a they're funnel when it comes in here. Yeah. And the trees yeah. do kind of collapse it, so that actually kind of evens it up if the wind's up. Yeah. Yeah. The flag, right. flag's dead right now. Right now we're okay, but you're right. If, if the, the nice breaking pitch, oh. throw back behind, and they got a pick. Might have been the rundown, oh. they get throw it away. Oh, a tough throw. Come on. All right. Sometimes it's those 60 foot throws that you think you can make. and. Burke catches a break and ends up at third base. Yeah. As a guy who has both caught and pitched to me at that point, I think Galindo should have just ran at him, at least got him to force one way and then just get him in a pickle. So McAdoo gets the bat back. He doesn't have to look at the... Uh... CJ, do you know if... St. Francis goes up to De La Salle this year? No, all? they don't. They went this up. This is just a one they, game. Yeah, okay. they went up last year and actually ended up beating them 9-6. Uh, to six. Okay. So. so they're going to run for Burke. And they're bringing in number eight. That is Joe Savaris. Pitch running, number eight, Joe Savaris. Outfielder, junior outfielder. All right. Very early see someone come in just to go to yeah. well, that's how the is going to play let's see that it's an uh, interesting move in the second inning to, and you got your guy at third you're almost wondering if he got injured or yeah, something else a, that yeah. might have just come up we'll see if Burke goes back out to right field in the well, he, didn't, he didn't say courtesy runner though fouled up into the screen by McAdoo did he say courtesy runner? Did not say no, courtesy. He, he not, said no. straight. Yeah. <coughs> and you know, I was I was talking to Coach Jeans before, and so he told me, you know, and I asked, you know, you have so many guys committed, does it make it hard? And he said, no, the best players play. He has sat D1 guys in the past, so I'm, you're almost kind of wondering maybe nice. Santiago was. Yeah. 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 So it makes one wonder maybe. Severice was a starter. But maybe yeah, did something maybe. wrong in the last yeah, game. Well, yeah, Burke 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 to play center fielder yeah. number 23, Jordan oh, Wright. So one out, center fielder Jordan Wright steps in. Chapman commit. That's playing the SCIAC down south against schools like Caltech, my daughter CMS. Went to, my daughter went to school Chapman, graduated. There we go. Yeah. Orange County. Good school. Pitch right in high ball one. Well, if you want to go to Disney, that's what I've been told. If you go to Disney, it's excellent for everything else. Eh, you know, I don't know. Yeah. She liked it. She liked the whole area. It's it definitely really good, though. Child up into the netting above. One on one to count. Checks down for a series of signs. Not sure if they'll go with a squeeze or anything. Second innings, I think, a little early. Fakes it. And then runner of third fakes. Then he swung away. Nice cut. Just got a piece of it. One and two the count. That's yeah, a little early. For it second. is. No, it is. Second, it is. Second inning. Like a little, seven, early, little early, yeah, little early to bring in a pinch runner, too. Yeah. When you clear me, I'll take Well, it. I don't know what's up with that. I mean, it's, like we, it's not like we can text Coach Jeans and go, no. Coach, what's that for? <laughs> Powell just got a piece of it. Couldn't hold on to it. Skipped over the top of Galindo. Count holds one and two. One out. Runner at third base for De La Salle. Here in the top of the second. No score. Reaches for that one and just fouls it up into the screen. Right's making him work for this. Second out. Water. Just a second, I was wondering, I wasn't seeing any audio, it's because they're not talking. Nice. 
It's this one into right field. Might be deep enough to score. Catch is made. The throw comes home. The runner comes home. And not in time. Sliding across the plate. Segarisi. For the first run, your pinch runner. Yeah, probably a little bit faster. Able to score. There's some good arms in the Lancer outfield, too. That might be part of the reason why they brought him into runs. So the RBI sack fly by Jordan Wright makes it a one to nothing De La Salle lead. You know, I think that just was right. Now batting second baseman, Abbey. number four. Nick forcing, forcing a pitch from shot. You know, fouling all them off. Right. And he knows he has to come in. Did a nice job going with that pitch. They're going to appeal third base, and they say no, he didn't leave early. The batter is Nick Fusari, the second baseman. And Loyola Marymount. No. Commit. Nick yeah. is? Okay. Yeah, Nick is, you know. WCC is a good. WCC and Mountain West are both the conferences. Pitch rides in high, ball one. You know, they had a, the first perfect game in school history last year. All over NCAA.com. I don't know. But, I mean, hey, it's first perfect game. You don't get a lot of those in college. Now, popped up on the infield. Dunn calls for it, backs up, and makes the catch. For out number three, that'll do it for the Spartans in the top of the second. We played one and a half. De La Salle in the lead, one to nothing. So Joe Severisi is staying in the ball game for De La Salle and now We'd playing like welcome right field. KMVT in Mountain View. Leading off for the Lancers are Jeter Ibarra, Michael Paul Leahy, Cunningham. and Kevin Kamak will follow. And on the color side, Terry Ward. Oh, we didn't tell him about now batting, that. shortstop number 13, Jeter Ibarra. <laughs> First pitch in there for a strike to Ibarra. Bar a left-handed hitting shortstop. Takes low, one on one to count. You know, so Vera doing what every pitcher needs to do, you know, attacking down early. You know, the ground ball, the ground ball is definitely your friend here. Just the wind, you never know, especially here. Pitch is low. Two and one. <laughs> Rounder towards the middle, backhanded. Throw to first, nice play. Out there by Nick Fusari to retire a bar on the four to three. Nice stop and a quick release to get rid of that ball. Left Coming to the plate, He's left fielder number three, edge. Michael Leahy. Yeah, Fasari had to get rid of that in a hurry, and he did. Mm -hmm. Batters left fielder Michael Leahy. Low ball one. You see a patch of blue over the top of the field. A little, yeah, a little breaking through. Cutting, yeah. yeah, well, I'm keeping an eye on everything. <laughs> Tapper out in front of the plate. Silva has it, makes the throw in time to retire Leahy. Two away. Well, maybe that's a sign of the weather to come, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, yes. Hopefully. Been a lot of days of rain here. Now batting, third baseman, number five, Kevin, Kamak, Kevin the batter. Kamak. Third baseman for St. Francis. Kevin Kamak's dad went to Sarah High School. Played in the major leagues. Pitch at the knees for a strike, going one. Kevin's a senior. Off speed pitch. Just got a piece of it, 0 2. Two outs, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the second. Yeah, that seemed to uh, come back to the uh, I want to say Chicago, but I'm not. Uh, I have to Google it. The White Sox, I think. So more likely than not, played at the old Kaminsky. 
That was a bad part. Two and one and two the count. Over halfway there. He's trying to pluck off pieces of ice cream. Swing and a miss, and down goes Kamak on strikes. That will do it for the Lancers in the bottom of the second. Play two complete, it's one to nothing, De La Salle. <laughs> Top of the third inning, Keone Colonna, Ben Parker, and then the top of the order, Vince Blanchina for De La Salle. His dad, Joe Kamak, played for the Brewers, Cubs, and Kansas City. So you got around. Meeting off, left fielder number 15, Keone Coloma. More than a cup of coffee. More than a cup of coffee. Exactly. First pitch swinging off the foot of shot, and then a tag out at first base. And Ryan Baker able to come up with it. They'll check on Joey's shot just to make sure he's okay. That went directly off his foot. And yeah, he took that was a laser beam. Right back up the middle. He's not there. That's a clean single easily. But took the deflection, so it turned into a U3. No, he's in pain. He's in some pain. Yeah, I have to walk had that happen only once on a coaching third when a guy just drilled one right down off my foot. And that, that is painful. I still think I have an indentation in my foot today. Well, most likely. That's from, from what I took, I was like, man, that, that hurt right on the instep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got one too. It was a 4th of July game at Municipal Stadium in San Jose. and. Their uh, right fielder, Keith Schmidt, was out. I go ahead. Takes a foul shot and hits me in the arm. Oof. Still got the still yeah. got the bump in there. <laughs> my dad was like, I think it's about 100 miles an hour. And it's like, yeah, I took it with my arm. It's going to hurt later. Shot says he's okay, so he's going to stick in there. One out. The batter is the catcher, Ben Parker. At the plate. Catcher, number eight, Ben Parker. You know, Parker's not your traditional catcher build at only 170. Well, he really catches up a little more muscle than that. Yeah, but he's agile back there. I like him back there. He's behind the play at least a couple of times I've seen him. He's uh, done a nice job being a human backstop. Lays the bunt down. We're going to test Sewell. Shot right away. Shot able to make the play. Tires him on the one to three. So right away they were going to test that foot and see if uh, he can get off the mound and make the throw. And he uh, proved up to the challenge. Miss Blanchina, the batter, he flew out to left field to lead off the game. Coming to the plate. Two away. Nobody Short out. stop. Number two, Vince. And Tina. First pitch is a one hopper into the catcher. I'm wondering if McGuire, if Shaw continues to show if he might get someone up just due to the foot as well. Yeah, just in case, just get somebody warm. I agree with you. To another count. Rounder towards second base, Dunn has it. Goes on to Baker in time. To retire Blanchina. That will do it for De La Salle in the top of the third. We've played two and a half. It is one to nothing, Spartans. Bottom of the third inning for the Lancers. They'll lead off Ryan Baker, their first baseman. Cole Dunn, second baseman. And then top of the order in Pete Halpin. He's center fielder. 
Lancers trail by one. Here in the bottom of the third. Leading off for the Lancers, Cole first baseman, number seven, third inning. Ryan Baker. CJ, do you think they keep pitch count on this guy in these pictures? Oh, probably. I mean, you don't want to burn your guys before I mean, it's summer. It's still early, granted, but okay. It's still, but I mean, he's but this, since first game, second game of the year, they're probably going to let him pitch a fair chunk. Pitch just missed. No, definitely, I think he's not showing the fastball. He's got them looking for the off speed. 101 the count. Even the scoreboard had 0-2 up there. <laughs> Everyone thinks it's at the, <laughs> they, at the umpire thought so. Everybody else thought it was. Breaking pitch that broke horribly out of the strike zone. Two and one the count. Pitch on the corner for a strike. Two and two. So we know it's 6 4, 190. Almost your prototypical college pitcher right there. Maybe could have a little bit more muscle, but that's about it. Swing and a miss. Strike three down goes Baker. It's two in a row now that Silva has struck out. One away. And the battle will be second baseman Cole Dunn. Coming to the plate, second baseman, number 11, Cole Dunn. Ball one to Dunn. Sorry about that. Down the right field line, slicing and foul ball. That took a little bit of an inside out swing there. Not a bad two though. Pretty good pitch. One and one the count. Takes that one on the corner for a strike. One and two. Nice pitch there by Silva. Caught the corner. That's just a better frame job though. Parker stuck that. Brought that back. <laughs> Reaches for that one and grounds it back to Silva. He'll lob it over to Kyle Harrison at first, and that will do it for Cole Dunn. Two away. <laughs> no, it's done to two, I think. And the batter will be the center fielder Pete Halpin. Halpin singled in his first at bat. Put one right between short and third. This is center fielder, number 14, Petey Halpin. You know, six in a row is hired right now. Early Chicago commit. Doing excellent right now. In the groove. A little outside. One another count. At the D's for a strike. 101 the count. Rounds that one towards first, staying down on it. Lobbied over to Silva in time to retire the side. That will do it for the Lancers in the bottom of the third. We played three complete. It is one to nothing, De La Salle. Top of the fourth for De La Salle, they'll send up Kyle Harrison, Chris Santiago, and Joe Segarisi. Joey shot out to work his fourth inning. Harrison singled in his first plate appearance, one for one on the day. Go, Joey. Go, Joey. 
Leading off first baseman, number 35, Kyle Harrison. Fouls that one straight up into the screen, 0-1. to the count. Yeah. Rounder to short, up with it, and the throw across the diamond in time. Nice dig out of the carpet there, Gita Labarro with the one hopper to Ryan Baker, one away. I got a leg in my That'll way. be Chris Santiago. At the plate, third baseman, number three, Chris Santiago. First pitch he is a high ball one. St. Mary's kid. Of course, St. Mary's coach is here as well today. Maybe just, you know, checking up on his investment. <laughs> this may be the only baseball game being played uh, today in, yeah. in Northern California. Well, there's probably others, but I don't know where they're going to be. Well, I mean, suppose... With, with the weather, I'm, I'm just assuming that if you don't have a carpet field, that's a nice shot right down the left field line. Could go for extra bases around first. Chugging for second and arriving is Santiago with a one out double. And I think uh, we're getting another substitution here. Another runner. And uh, I can see Harry, that. Yeah, Harioka. Kevin Harioka. Kevin Harioka. Pinch running, number 16, Kevin Arioka. So Joe Segarisi steps in. Excuse me, this is Blake Burke back in. So Burke has come back into the game. And takes on the outside corner for a strike. This is right fielder, number 20, Blake Burke. Yes, it was a crazy or something. Yeah. Just a replacement. yeah, but Segarisi did play. Well, he she, went out there for one inning. Right he did go out to right field. Maybe so. he's dh and now. Maybe they switched the... Well, so DH is McAdoo, Let's so we'll see, see what... So runner at second with one out. Shot from the stretch. Pitch rides it high again. Two and one to count. Hmm. Pitch missed somewhere. Three and one to count. Straight back. Count runs full. I think Burke's trying to hit one about. I think he's trying to hit one towards the hospital. <laughs> he certainly uh, <laughs> took that kind of a healthy cut. Joey knows it too. Yes. I don't want to throw that one again. Grounder towards first. Fielded cleanly. Runner advances to third on the slow. Bounding ground ball, but a nice job by Baker to step on first, retire Burke. And the batter will be the designated hitter, Charles McAdoo. 
now batting, designated hitter, number 21, Charles McAdoo. <laughs> He's a junior. McAdoo. McAdoo up the middle again. Fielded there by Ybarra. Ybarra throws across again. Down in the carpet and again saving his bacon is Ryan Baker. That will do it for De La Salle in the top of the fourth. We've played three and a half. It is one to nothing Spartans. Bottom of the fourth inning is Egalindo, Max Porter, and Martin Sanchez slated for the Lancers. So he looked to get on the scoreboard here. Cole Silva out to work his fourth inning. Bidding off the catcher, number two, Izzy Galindo. You know, so far, I mean, only two base runners for Silva. He's been on his defense do all the work. Yeah, only a couple of strikeouts, so they're playing good defense. That one rides in well high for ball one. I mean, and Silva doesn't look like he's throwing, like, he's throwing hard, but he's not throwing, like, you know, he's like 92, no. 90, whatever, gas, where he's like, oh, no, definitely. Yeah. And the ball, he's moving the ball. He, he's throwing good. He's a good rhythm. We're stunned that one, two, another count. Crowder towards third, backs up on it. Throw across the diamond is wild, out of time. And the runner's gonna try to go to second. And no throw, because it has to throw it away again, and he's gonna hold it second as Galindo. And as they're playing over the circus ball right now, put a tent on this. I was talking about that. So Galindo on on the E5 on the throw. Yeah, this coming from a baseball now batting right Silva. fielder number eight Max mid upper 80s fastball good breaking ball so I don't know, 86 87 probably can probably jack it up a little higher than that he maybe gets 88 yeah I haven't seen that out of him today maybe the weather's uh, slowing it down I, I could see maybe the low 80s I'm not sure he's popping the high 80s yeah well Harrison who pitched last night Dude. Trickster with a plus fastball right there. Max Porter, the batter. Porter singled in his first at bat. Foul ball off the mask of the umpire. And as any good catcher knows, if the umpire takes one off the mask, you go talk to your pitcher to give the umpire a chance to recover from taking one off the mask. Too bad they're taking that away in the pros because, you know, there goes mound visit right yeah, there. Yeah, and uh, you're right. You're right. But I like I like a catcher who's alert enough to know uh, to promptly go out and say hi to your pitcher when the umpire takes one. Well, you have to know that definitely by high school. You better. And you probably learned it before you, then yeah. to travel ball. You should have. You should have. 0-1 <laughs> oh, count to Porter. That's a totally different level. Right? Bluff back to second. Galindo not very far off the bag at all. You know, the catcher batting second, so he's evidently got some wheels, but you almost let the catcher just go steal. Puts in there for a strike. Owen to the count. <coughs> Nobody out, runner at second base. I think Price. that's a good breaking ball that we're talking about right there. Yeah. He's been down there all day. Yep. The marker just framing. There it is. Takes this one to the right side. That old dance around the third. And the third of is inside. By Fusari, retired Porter. So a nice job by Porter to move the runner over. The Lancers, one away. The Lancers now get two shots to score the run though. Our team Sanchez, a batter, he grounded yeah. four to six to three. At the plate, the designated hitter, number 21, Brown Martin ball to second. They're playing Sanchez. Back to see if they creep up. But right now they're playing 
pretty yeah. normal positions, well, I guess, willing to give the run up. Well, third baseman's cheating. Yes, he was cheating, and now he's backing up a little. Well, it is your number four hitter, your DH. So and I'm still surprised, you know, Josh McCullough wasn't starting his DH today. I mean, he's, even for a Stanford commit for football, he's got power. That's just natural right there. 1-0 pitch in the dirt, nice stop again. Parker getting part of his body on it to deaden the ball and keep it there. Now Silva's going to have to come in. Two another count. I mean, you could just walk him and try to get another double play ball. Yeah. And the board did run out to second last time, so we definitely could try to get that again. Pitch rides in high three and out. Taking all the way. Yeah, Takes for was. a strike three and one. Well, I think you are selective now. Good pitch. Terry, you think he's going to try to throw another curveball here? Yeah, he's, he's got confidence in it. It's been his go to pitch. Yeah, it's been his best pitch of the day. Popped up into the screen. No. Well, that's a good setup right there. Oh, full count. Either can come back with a high fastball or spike one in the dirt. What it's all about. I love it. Off speed pitch, take five, ball four. So Sanchez on the walk. Well, sets it up for the double play, like you said. So let's see what's happening. Now that a first walk of the day by the pitcher. So for this early Peter in the season, the pitcher's right around the strike zone. Actually, second walk, Porter walked. Did Porter walk on the first inning? Uh, in the first inning. Okay. Max Porter, yeah. That's what I, I get away as a walk. Uh, <laughs> first pitch to Ibarra. He's in there for a strike to to Ibarra, the shortstop. Didn't you say hi to his dad, Paulie? No, that was uh, Cole Dunn's okay. dad. Hard grounded out to second. First of batted. Fouls that one towards the De La Salle dugout. Cole Silva trying to induce a double play ball here. Slowly towards second, no play at second. The run's going to come yeah. to score as they couldn't make the tag. Barra with the RBI. There you go. No, it was only a single play. The guy that was running the first one out the guy. Now batting left fielder number three, Michael Leahy. Michael Leahy, the batter. Runner at second base for the Lancers. Takes high ball one. Base it here by Leahy. He could put the Lancers in the lead here in the bottom of the fourth. We're tied at one. Yeah, that all started with the E5. Yes, it did. Sanchez yep. <laughs> not getting that big of a lead. No, he's just off the brown part of the carpet into the green. A little call, that will call time. Yeah, 
kind of have to play conservative. Not that deep a backstop here. All right. Nice stop again by Parker. Mike Leahy's a senior. To another count to Leahy. hit in the left center field around third on his way to score to Sanchez the third gets away runners won again I wouldn't worry about the speed there he has some good speed yeah Mr. Sanchez he brought it wow. I saw him chugging around so a two to one Lancer lead now Close. two outs now batting third baseman number five Kevin Quebec Hit hard. Yes, it was. That was a solid yeah. base hit. Kevin Kamak, the batter now. After Michael Leahy's RBI single. Rain is starting up again. The umbrella's open. Rounded right back to Silva. Silva underhanded to Kyle Harrison, and that will do it for the Lancers. In the bottom of the fourth, but not before they strike for two, and they take a two to one lead. Top of the fifth inning for De La Salle will be Jordan Wright, Nick Fusari, and Keone Colonna. Joey Shot out to work his fifth inning. Batting for De La Salle, number 23, Jordan Wright. Pitch rides in high, ball one. There are patches of blue on the horizon, but right now there's a, it's a mist. nice little mist coming down. Yes, it's misty. Play misty for me. Clint Eastwood. Very good. Popped up. Maybe playable over near the De La Salle dugout, but yes. A, a nice acrobatic play there. He bounced off the fence. By Ryan Baker. Yeah, he, he, uh, he gave it his all. And his all was needed. So Jordan Wright out on the pop-up to first base. One away. And the batter will be second baseman Nick Fusari. Now batting for De La Salle, number four. Nick Fusari. First pitch in there for a strike, 0 and 1. You know, there's actually a fair amount of college coaches here. I mean, there always are, but I mean, St. Mary's, Southern Alabama, De Anza, the director out for the Barrier World Series. Oh. <laughs> it's a fair group. It's a fair good group of coaches right there. Oh, they're here today? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All hanging out behind home plate, as they normally do with the radar guns. Southern Alabama. Yep, Jaguars, Sunbelt Conference. 0-2 oh, the count. Takes a defensive swing at that one and pops it up behind first and making a nice running catch is Cole Dunn. We'll go ahead and bring that one in. So two away. He caught it. And the batter is Again, Keone Colonna. Even if we were in a now batting for De La Salle, number 15, Keone, Keone Coloma. Slices that one foul down the left field line. Hold one. It's this one in the left center field and positioned perfectly out there is Pete Halpin to make the catch for out number three. That will do it for De La Salle in the top of the fifth. We played four and a half. It is two to one, St. Francis. <laughs> Bottom of the fifth inning, Ryan Baker, Cole Dunn, and Pete Halpin for the Lancers. And Eric Reiselman is on the mound now for 
De La Salle. Roselman can't get up into the upper H. USF commit. Going to be a Don. Now pitching for De La Salle, number nine, Eric Roselman. Playing in you know, the WCC, so he'll get to play Santa Clara, UOP. Sure. Uh, San Diego. It drops down a little bit for that off speed, so they might, it's a little bit of a tell. I mean, other than that, I mean, he's, it looks like he's got stuff. Well, we're about to find out. Yep. Baker steps in for the Lancers, the St. Francis first Leading baseman. Off, number 23, Kai Pagan. We got another hitter, sorry. This is Pagan. Takes low ball one. Kai, Kai Pagan. Kai Pagan, number 23. McGuire making a move now. Kyle Sikai is a uh, senior. 2 0 count to Pagan. Oh, well, in the dirt. Overthrew that. 3 0. Four. So a four pitch walk issue to Pagan. Patter is the second baseman, Cole. Coming Dunn. to the plate, second baseman, number 11, Cole Dunn. <coughs> Grounded up pitcher to first last go around. Yes, he did. Squares to bunt. That's a go snap throw back door behind and back in plenty of time he is Pagan. Squares again. Ball in the dirt. I don't want the count. Rizman at 6'1". He's not tallest, but he's got those pitcher-like legs. I wonder if he was actually might have been a catcher, too, at some point. It's high for a ball. Two and one. This is what will give the coaches a gray hair. I mean, the batter wants to give himself up, and his pitcher can't <laughs> throw his strike. <laughs> batter says, yes, I'll get out. Just throw me a strike. A three, three and one. And catcher Ben Parker wants a timeout. Go out and introduce his pitcher to the plate. You know, you come in, walk the first guy, then get ahead of one and you know three, four, three straight pitches. Yeah. Infield trying to uh, settle him down, befriend him, tell him how much they like him. We appreciate the help on the math homework. I'll ride back on the bus with you. Yeah. With you. We'll let you come home with us. Yeah, they won't leave them <laughs> about an hour and change away <laughs> and a couple counties over. Done squares. And takes outside ball four. Wow. So same situation with Halpin. See if we get a uh, bunt. There, we've got a trip to the mound by Coach Jeans. Yeah. That was a That's it. There goes very, very quick hook. So we've got a break in the action with the pitching change. Could be a new pitcher, I think, probably. 
coming to the plate. Center fielder number Pete 14, Halpin. Pete Halpin. And the new pitcher is Dylan White. CJ, where would you say this guy's going University to? University of Chicago. Okay. Along with uh, starting pitcher All right. Silva. Silva. So runners at first and second, nobody out. Potential bunting situation. He looked as if he's going to come down and inside ball one. Now they're starting to chirp a little bit from the deal as how dugout is. A little inside. A little inside it was low, but the umpire has yes. been giving that low strike all day. And they're starting to get a little annoyed. It's like, where do I need to put that? <laughs> yeah. See if he looks to square again. It was a late square. This time he swings away and puts one over towards the football field. 101 the cap. Hopefully that lacrosse game's over or someone just probably got <laughs> decked. And going for goal and just all of a sudden falls down. What was that? That was the baseball. Nice pitch is helping. He's coming out of his shoes. One and two the count. Happens one for two on the day. Teeny is. A strikeout or a double play would be huge. Whoa. 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 puts one up into the netting, and both runners will advance. A wild pitch advances the runners to second and third and breaks up any potential double play situation. Well, there you go, CJ. See what you said? Look at that. Yeah. Boom. Oh, well. <laughs> that happens. <laughs> sure does. Two and two the count. Yeah, really, he really lost that. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. I think he was it's still a little moist out there. Yeah. It's I think he was trying to throw that about 100. <laughs> Ground ball towards short. Up with it. Go across the diamond in time. To retire helping, but he drives in. Kai Pagan from third base makes it a three to one ball game. So one away. And charge that run to Rizzleman. At the plate, catcher number two, Izzy Galindo. Izzy Galindo. <laughs> Pagan scored, Gunn yeah, stayed at second. Stayed second. Yeah, he did a nice good. job. Shortstop uh, Blanchina did a nice job freezing it there. First pitch rides in high, ball one. So I was just looking to see if Gunn was able to get the third. No, no, Blanchina gave him a look and forced him back to second. Okay. Nice job holding him there. The monitor didn't catch that. Popped up, playable. Shortstop Blanchina calls for it. He's there to make the catch. So two away. And the batter will how be Max right fielder, number eight, Max yeah, Porter. No for him to walk to. First pitch in there for a strike, 0 and 1. Well, that was good insurance run. Yeah, yeah, but you never know. We're only in the fifth, and they still got, yeah, they got two more at bats. Yeah. 1 1. Let's see if Joey goes back out again. Yeah, I haven't seen anybody warm up in the bullpen, so I would assume a shot well, he's is going to come back out. Here. Two and one. And it's not like he's throwing a lot of pitches either. And he's been had a couple of one, two, three innings. And Hi, three and one. Joey's only a junior. All right. Yeah, three out of his five have been one, two, threes. 
Yeah, first inning, third inning, fifth inning. He's young. <laughs> Everyone's young. Everybody's young out here, except us. Well, you and me, CJ's young. <laughs> and only slightly. <laughs> You're much younger than us, CJ. Yeah, true. <laughs> Outside ball four. So Porter is on board of the walk. So Martin Sanchez, the DH, will step Coming to the plate, in. Runners at first and second, two outs for the Martin Landers. Martin Sanchez. Imagine you're giving these guys everything today. Yeah, they've they're playing them tough. Good pitch. You wait for their pitch. It's been a good game. Here you go, gentlemen. We got it. Here we go. Low ball one. Good patch of blue now moving in here. Yeah, that yeah well, it pitch, but there's some really ugly clouds coming to my right, so yeah, they might be working their way in. Yeah, they're moving, they're moving uh, to the right. Okay, all right. Fouled over towards the parking lot. 101 to count. Yeah, cumulus unsteadiness. Cumulus We're not watching Looney Tunes here, Terry. <laughs> Moving uh, west to east. Grounder towards third. Nice play. Throw to second in time. Nice job by Chris Santiago. Go ahead and get the easy play at second base. Some out on the four. That will do it for the Lancers. They have the lead three to one. Let's see who comes up to bat now. He may be switching. So the Bottom of the fifth inning. Let's see what we Excuse got. Excuse me, top of the sixth inning for De La Salle. You got Zeke, yeah, Zeke Berry. Leading off of the Spartans, pinch hitter, number 42, 42 Zeke, Zeke, Zeke Berry. Berry, all right. Hitting for Ben Parker, the catcher. And the only freshman on the whole roster. Wow. Freshman. One freshman on De La Salle varsity. Go. It's pretty impressive to be a freshman on De La Salle varsity. The, uh, freshman, 5'10", 175 pounds. Struggles tucking his shirt in better than that. He looks like a pretty good athlete. <laughs> Pokes it one. Puts it foul down the right field line. Oh, and to the count. To Barry. Low for a ball, one and two the count. Popped up on the infield. Dunn calls off Baker and makes a catch for out number one. So Barry out on the F4. One away, we go back to the top of the order. And the shortstop, Vince Blanchina. Coming to play, shortstop, number two, Vince Blanchina. Vince Jr. It's actually Blanchina. I actually didn't read it down one. I misread their lineup card. It's Blanchina. It's not an L. It's not BL, it's BI. It's, it's BI. That's what. Yeah. That's what uh, I hate when I mispronounce it. Sorry. Yeah, 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 no, it's being cheated. He's right. I got that wrong. My apologies to Vince. You can't read your own camera. Yeah, I got to apologize to Vince. Northwestern U from that, too, 2020. Northwestern. Northwestern. Good school. 101 to count. <laughs> Ooh, buckled his knees on it, but couldn't put it in the strike zone. Two and one. Grounder towards first. Up with it is Baker. He flips to his pitcher covering. Nice hustle by Joey Schott to get over there. And Bianchina's out on the one to th the three to one. one. Two away. And the battle will be Kyle Harrison.
At the plate, first baseman number 35, Kyle Harrison. Nice. Harrison takes high, ball one. Grounded towards third, backs up on it, makes a snag, throws across the diamond, and one hops it to his first baseman. So Kevin Kamak, one hopper to Baker. Baker doing a nice job over there at first base today. That will do it for De La Salle on the top of the six. We played five and a half. It's three to one, St. Francis. So for St. Francis, slated is Jeter Ibarra, Michael Leahy, and Kevin Kamak in the bottom of the sixth inning. Lancers with a three to one lead. Dylan White is out once again for the Spartans on the mound. Warm up throws are done. And we will get this half inning underway. And right after this, De La Salle's going down to face Pretty Jesuit. Off, shortstop, number 13, That's Jeter Ibarra. About two weeks, I think. Okay. And then they get St. Mary Stockton and Elk Grove, and then they're going out to Vegas in April. All right. That's Beautiful be time to be in Vegas. Yeah, April. Not too hot. Not too hot. Mid-70s, maybe 80. First pitch in there for a strike to Ibarra. Jeter Ibarra, guessing his dad was a Yankee fan and has groomed him to be a shortstop his whole life. Swing and a miss, one and two. Well, we're getting all these funky nicknames in the MLB now, so I mean, Jeter definitely is not that funky anymore. <laughs> no. no. At the knee, strike three called. Nice pitch by Dylan White. Down goes Ibarra on strikes, one away. <laughs> That'll be Mike Leahy. Now batting, left fielder number three, Michael Leahy. One for two on the day with an RBI. Curve ball, misses ball one. in there for a strike. 101 to count. Last speed pitch that broke late, but a little too late. <laughs> Two and one the count. in the right field. I'm going to try to throw him out at first and not in time. As Leahy able to beat out that throw. Single to right field. So the Lancers have a base runner with one out. The Lancers will have a pinch hitter here. It'll be Maurice Wilmer. Pinch hitting number 25, Maurice Wilmer. He just came off of a pretty good basketball season, too. Let's see if his baseball abilities going now. First pitch in there for a strike, 0 and 1. Swing and a miss. 0 and 2. 
for that high fastball. A little bit high. That's the same pitch that seems best until it's blowing right by you. Exactly, yeah, it look, just looks like you should be able to hit it. And it just, as you say, just zooms right past you. Oh, nice pitch. Gets him to ground it. Bobble throw to first, not in time. You know what I call that an error or a hit? Uh, it's an error. It's an error. He feels that cleanly. Yeah. yeah, he feels that cleanly. No. Santiago with the error. It's his second error today. At the plate, first baseman, number seven, Ryan Baker. Pitch in there for a strike. Gonna double down on that. It's the first one over. Besides, so just let the second one in. Sure did. She went on. She gave it there. Where is it? First and second one out. Again with the same result. This time a swinging strike. It's easy. Decided to swing. Ryan Baker down on strikes. Is that Baker or Pagan? That was Baker. Baker came back in. Two away. And the battle will be. Let's see what number he is. That's not cold. I saw nine. Number nine, Elijah Ricks. Elijah go. Ricks hitting for cold dime. Pitch in there for a strike, 0 and 1. So Dylan White settling in. Mm -hmm. Got that curveball working yeah, now, too. It's yes. One in the monitor. You can really see it dip in here. Again, it just got a piece of it. Took him a couple of throws to get it going. Six curveballs in a row. Hey, he He's might. I, you I, know what? I would. Why, Why yeah. Not? It ain't broke. Don't fix it. But it is broken. <laughs> it is. His <laughs> fastball's broken. He can't throw that <laughs> for a rich, fastball. Rich. Well, now he put that one in the dirt. Runners aren't going anywhere. Thought about it, but then thought better of it. And Rick says hasn't seen him. This is his first at yeah. bat against I mean, you him. You've got so. a cold kid coming off the, off the bench. Might as well just bend him again. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. <laughs> Can't get that breaking ball over. Two and two the count. Suddenly he's lost that magic feeling with the curveball. <laughs> last two have gone into the rug. Low, full count. Boy, you don't really want to lose a guy in your head. 0 and 2. We'll count the runners and get going. Ball four. Wow. Every time we comment on something. Hey. Yeah, that's it hard. To, yeah, opposite. boy, you've got. Right. Coming to the plate, center, center fielder, number 14, the top of the Pete Halpin. Pete Halpin. Yeah, 
I think five free passes aren't really gonna, aren't really helping. No, no, no. They are struggling with the strike zone. One and other count. Beauty, big lefty. Indeed. Fouls it up into the screen. One on one to count. Again, up into the screen, one or two the count. Strike three, called. Alpin disagrees. Kind of do, but that's cool. But that's how the uh, that's you got to be ball. two strikes. You got to be Protect got to be protected. That'll Protect do it for the play. Lancers in the bottom of the six. We played six complete. Protect. It is a three to one St. Francis. Top of the seventh inning. Lancers with a three to one lead. Joey Shot looking to go the distance. Lead off against Kyle Harrison. First pitch just misses ball one. What did you say over the limit? I'm sorry, this is Chris. two over the limit. Two over the limit. Yeah, 18 batters, six innings. Needs a 20 right now. There you go. This is Chris Santiago. One on one to count. Let him, yeah. Let him do it himself. Santiago's one for two on the day, has a double. Pops it up, foul, and out of play over towards the football field. That might have made the football field. <laughs> Pitch low. Two and two the count. Lifted into left field and there to backing up is Leahy to make the catch out number one. As Santiago goes down on the F7. Coming to the that plate. That will be Brian Burke. Right fielder number 20, Blake Burke. Excuse me, Blake Well, that's hit well, and it's well out of here. That was a bomb. Hit one yesterday Hold on, too. Blake Burke. Blake Burke just clobbered that one. Put it out on the hospital drive. <laughs> Makes it a three to two ball game. There was no doubt about that one. Sound too. Yeah, Max Porter no, made a run. Hitter, it just looked up. Just, yeah, just, 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 like, no. just for a little suspense, and it's like, no, it's really not anywhere near being catchable. Charles Mack could do the batter. First pitch strike to McAdoo. Well, I tell you, you know with Blake Burke, you're going to see a lot more of those. Man, he crushed that, yes. Softball. 
101 the count. Matthew is a junior. Popped up, playable. Is he cannot make the grab as Galindo got there but had it pop out of his glove. That's a tough play. Galindo gave it a good shot. One and two the count. Strike three called. Great pitch by Shot. Hit his target exactly. Galindo lined up on that outside corner and Shot put it right there. Nothing you could do with that pitch. At the plate, center fielder number 23, Jordan Wright. Jordan Wright, the batter. He had a sack fly and an RBI driving in one of the two runs for De La Salle. Two outs, Lancers one out away from hitting the win here. Takes high ball one. <laughs> At the knees for a strike, one on the count. Nice pitches. Shot one strike away. Recent. Complete game victory for the Lancers. Outside and up. Overthrew that. Two and two the count. <laughs> Pitch in the dirt. Full count. Shot ready. Pitch is a grounder towards shortstop. Cut off by the third baseman and he throws not in time as K-Mac tried to come across. Couldn't get it. And good speed down the first baseline by Jordan Wright. He's on with the infield single. So two outs, the tying now run aboard baseman, for De La Salle. Fisari. And Nick Fasari will be the batter for De La Salle. Well, ball was hit slowly. Yeah, it was, a, it was kind of a no man's yeah. land. Now a trip to the mound. I think they're just going to, I think they're just going to try to stall give Campbell some time to warm up. Campbell's been down here. He yeah, looks, he's, he's like he's about ready. You know, both uh, both teams are huddling up right now, discussing the situation. Two outs. I think they'd give him one more batter. Home plate umpire is going to wander out to. Yeah, he's thinking. He's to thinking. break up the coffee. What am I going to do? Coffee break. Campbell is uh, certainly throwing it full strength down there, so he is ready to go. What are you going to do? They're going to okay. stick with him for one more. All right. Two outs give him a chance to, to get the win. Coach was looking down at the bullpen as he walked back in to make yeah, sure Campbell sure is... Uh, he didn't look, yeah. yeah, he gave it a long look to make sure Campbell's warmed up. These wheels are spinning. Okay, so it's up to us to show. Fusari, Fusari ground ball into the hole, into left field. That's a base hit. So back to back singles for De La Salle here in the top of the seventh. And Jones is going to bring in pinch runner. Here we go. 
Coming to play left fielder number 15, Keone Coloma. Keone Colon is coming in. It looks like they're just going to stick with who's there. I, mean, I would think Wright and Fusari are, uh, have decent wheels, right? Your center fielder. Fusari looks like he can run. So two outs, runners at first and second. They're sticking with shot. Golden to lefty. Keone Colona has. Now it's that one straight back. He went up the middle and put one off of the foot of shot. It bounced over to Baker and it shook up shot for a little while just to test his foot, make sure it was okay. And then he also flew out to center field. Over two on the day. Ooh, went for one well out of the strike zone. Makes it an 0 and 2 count. So it helps shot out on that. to see Dan LaSalle battling here. Right to the very They are. Man, this is a great game. This is what baseball is all yes, about. Sir. It's a great high school baseball game. It's all about two excellent programs. Popped up. Playable. Calling for it is Kamak, and he makes the catch for out number three. A nice job. Kelowna just got under it. For round number three, and the Lancers come away with a victory. And that will do it for us here at St. Francis High School as the Lancers come away with a 3-2 to two victory. We'd like to thank our producer, director, Tyler Weiss, we'll production the seven, engineer, and camera Tim Erskine, camera crew, Roxanne J Jansen. I'd like to thank, uh, as always, my compadre, the mailman, Terry no Ward, and C.J. Rulo for coming base. out with some outstanding stats, doing a great job for us today, for all of us here at KMVT. I'm Paul Cunningham. We'll see you next time.